Two miners are facing steep jail time for what they did to half a million bees. Bees sort of get a bad rep, with their penchant for painfully stinging just about anyone who dares to venture near their hive. They haven't exactly gained the trust of other creatures. It's safe to say that most people have a hard time feeling anything positive for them. But in reality, bees are an essential part of the ecosystem. Sadly, in recent years they've begun to mysteriously die off. So when two young boys from Sao City, Iowa, recently did something horrific to 500,000 bees on a local farm, the community was, needless to say, a buzz and furious. Bees are incredibly beneficial to maintaining a balanced ecosystem. Sadly, bees are now facing possible extinction. Every bee lost is a major hit to the overall population, something beekeepers Justin and Tori Engelhart know all too well. As the owners of Wild Hill Honey, a bee farm in Sioux City, Iowa, Justin and Tori's livelihoods depend upon the well-being of said bees. However, None of this was enough to stop a true tragedy from happening at their farm. Recently, the couple awoke on a cold winter morning to check out their honeybees, and they were horrified by what they saw when they stepped out. Their 50 beehives had been violently knocked down and strewn across their 18-acre property. It was already too late. The damage was done. In total, upwards of 500,000 honeybees were killed. Justin and Tori were heartbroken and desperate to find out who could have been responsible for this thoughtlessly cruel act. Obviously, the death of half a million honeybees is a tragic loss. With the community having decreased at a rate of 30% each year for the past several years, losing that many in one foul swoop would have lasting effects on the local ecosystem. As diligent, hard workers, the Engelharts were devastated by the loss. They knocked over every single hive, killing all the bees. They wiped us out completely, Justin explained to reporters about the aftermath of the incident. They broke into our shed. They took out all of our equipment and threw it in the snow. Smashed what they could. Doesn't look like anything was stolen. Everything was just vandalized or destroyed, Justin continued. Unfortunately, with bees facing extinction, this wasn't an issue that could easily be fixed. To make matters worse for the Engelharts, insurance companies don't cover bees, leaving them with little recourse for recouping the $60,000 in damages. Thankfully, some folks were ready to help out. In a last-ditch effort to regain some of the funds necessary to reopen their bee farm, the couple set up a GoFundMe page to raise money. Inspiringly, the loving community rallied around them and helped raise more than $30,000. With the help of the community, the Engelharts hoped to reopen their farm in the coming season. It's thanks to those contributions that we'll be able to rebuild in the spring, Justin explained in an interview. We cannot adequately express how grateful we are to everyone who has sent kind words and those willing to help us out. It's been overwhelming, the couple wrote in a Facebook post. We had no idea our plea for help was going to travel so far and wide. We are deeply moved by your compassion between the contributions and the equipment that we were able to salvage, our needs have been met," Justin concluded on the GoFundMe page. Still, they were hoping that those responsible for this crime would be brought to justice. Thankfully, the Engelharts were in luck. Soon they learned that the two culprits who allegedly committed the crime had been caught by local authorities, despite there being no witnesses. Both still juveniles, at the age of 12 and 13, authorities weren't able to give the names of those responsible. They did, however, charge them with criminal mischief in the first degree. That wasn't all, though. Whether if they knew of the seriousness of their crime or not, these two minors were also facing charges of burglary in the third degree, possession of burglar's tools, animal facilities offenses, and an aggravated misdemeanor. In total, these felony offenses carried a stiff penalty of up to 10 years in prison, as well as an additional fine of up to $10,000. This maximum punishment was considered unlikely, however, as the offenders were still minors. Furthermore, the minors might have lucked out, as the prosecution for agricultural animal facilities in Iowa was said to be extremely rare. I can't think of any case where we've had prosecution in Woodbury County. I may be wrong, but I don't recall anything," said Mark Campbell, the county assistant attorney. Despite the potential outcome, the Engelharts were just happy that the people who committed the crimes were caught when they were. 
They assumed it would eventually be adjudicated in the local juvenile court, and that justice would be served. If nothing else, they were happy that this case brought the honeybee's plight into focus. Bees are critical, and people are conscious of the fact that bees are having a hard time right now and facing some real challenges, Justin pointed out. If bees continue to die off at such an alarming rate, it would be a tragic blow to the ecosystem.